Let's take a look at an example and prepare cash flows from operating activities. It says ABC Corp for 2012 had net income of $100,000, including $20,000 loss on sale of equipment and $10,000 of depreciation. When they say including, that means the net income of 100000 already has taken into account the $20,000 loss and the $10,000 of depreciation. Then they have given you comparative balance sheets. They've given you two sets of balance sheets for 2011 and 2012. Then they want you to prepare the cash flows from operating activities. We're going to use the indirect method to prepare our cash flows from operating activities. Remember, when you're using the indirect method, you have to get the net income, any gains or losses, and depreciation from your income statement, which they have told you right here. And then you have to go look at your comparative balance sheets and look at your current assets and current liabilities, which they have provided here. When you're using the indirect method, the first step is to put your net income down. We know our net income is 100000 so let's go ahead and do that. Next, we look for depreciation. We know that depreciation is $10,000, so we can go ahead and put our $10,000. What do we do with it? Do you remember? We add it back because it was subtracted when we calculate our net income. Next, we need to look for gains and losses. And here we have a loss of $20,000. So we would go and add it back to our cash flows from operating activities. Remember, the loss was subtracted to get at net income of $100,000. So we add it back here. Now that takes care of your income statement. The next step is to go for your comparative balance sheets. You're going to ignore cash, so we'll just draw a line through cash here. The next item is a current asset. So we have to figure out what happened to our current assets. Did our current assets increase or decrease? In 2011, it was 11,000. And in 2012, it went up to 19,000. So it increased. Your accounts receivable increased by how much? by $8,000. Now you know that current assets have an inverse relationship to your cash flow statements. So if our current assets increase by 8,000, we have to go and subtract that 8,000 in your cash flow statement. Now let's look at the next item. It's accounts payable. Accounts payable is a current liability. Current liabilities, remember, I said have a direct relationship. So let's see whether current liabilities increase or decrease. For 2011, current liabilities were 18,000. They went up to 25,000 in 2012. That is an increase of $7,000. So our current liabilities increased by $7,000. That has an effect of increasing our cash flows from operating activities by how much? By the same amount, by $7,000. Now, a lot of companies will have a lot more current assets and current liabilities than I've shown you in this example. So you would go and do that analysis for every single current asset and every single current liability other than cash. Now that we've taken into account all the items from our income statement and our balance sheet, we can go ahead and figure out how much our cash flows from operating activities. You would add all those up and you would end up with 129000